hi guys welcome back to my channel long time no see i know and i look different i don't have no hair but we'll talk about that in another video today i'm about to cook dinner it's six o'clock and i'm trying to have dinner on the table by seven so i'm about to cook dinner and i figured i could bring you guys along with me for this fall inspired meal so if you're interested keep watching okay so y'all gonna have to excuse my dead flowers but they still smell so good and my lilies aren't dead yet so <laughs> they're gonna say but i have acorn squash i have this um rice aroni wild rice i love this it's easy to cook fast um i have some brown sugar some butter which should be softened but i actually just took it out so if you would like to make this recipe, make sure your butter is soft. I have some maple syrup. have my seasonings back here for the chicken that is thawed out in the sink that I'm going to cook. Excuse my dishes. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's get started. So I'm just going to kind of mash this butter up. Like I said, it should be soft and it's definitely not. But um, this is going to go on the acorn squash. This is two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of maple syrup and then salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm going to take this acorn squash. We're going to cut it up and I'm going to smear it onto the um, squash and put it on the baking sheet right here and put it in the oven on 400 degrees for one hour. I just looked up the recipe online because I'm just now discovering acorn squash. Like, I didn't grow up eating this. But for the last two weeks, I've been eating it and I've been roasting it with like salt and pepper and olive oil in the oven. But I found this recipe today for like a sweet one, which I think would be pretty tasty. So we're going to try it out. So I'm just mixing this up. And I didn't know I was going to make this, which is why my butter is not soft. <laughs> All right, have a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the squash because it takes the longest to cook. It's gonna be in there for an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut up. <clears throat> this thing pretty firm, y'all. Gotta put some scrimp into it. The last two that I had was not this difficult, but it's all right. And also the recipe does not call for me cutting it this way. The recipe says to cut it in half like this, but I don't wanna do that. So we're going to work this one out today sometime. Sometime today we're going to get this cut off. Any minute. <laughs> Have mercy. FYI, this is not a dull knife. It's a pretty good knife, actually. This is pretty thick. All right, I got the first piece cut off. Hopefully the next one will be easier. I'm just gonna scoop all this stuff out and you can just throw it away. I wonder if you, I'm pretty sure you can eat these. They look like pumpkin seeds. And this is in the pumpkin family. That's what the inside looks like. It's like a pumpkin. Okay, so I found it much easier to just cut the thing in half, which I didn't wanna do, but just cut it in half. And now I'm just gonna cut it this way. So they'll look like this. I'm gonna line them up on this pan. I'm gonna put the butter on them and then put them in the oven. I'm trying to get them in there ASAP because it's getting late. Oh, you know what y'all? I don't think I need to leave this in there for an hour because the recipe, like I said, called for me to just cut the squash in half and just put the butter on there and put it in the oven. But these are much smaller pieces, so I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep it in there now, but that's not a problem, because I usually just eyeball it. And then I'll let you guys know how long I kept it in the oven. Okay, so now it's on to the chicken, which I've already portioned out in the bag how much we're gonna eat tonight. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start seasoning. There are no measurements here. I'm just gonna dump it in until I feel like it's right. 
this is garlic love garlic um, a little thyme and for the parsley that's good and the seasoning salt or seasoned salt and finally the paprika all right up this bag okay so i just have a pan hot pan with some olive oil in it i'm just going to place the chicken in it and i'm going to brown uh the skin side so skin side down so i can get it nice and brown and then transfer it to the pan and let it finish cooking in the oven while i start cooking the rice mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I think my chicken is browned, nice and brown, as you can see. I'm going to start putting it in the pan. Oh, that pan's going to be too small. Take this out of here and put it into here. And then we'll start taking the rest of these out. Why would I think that all this chicken is going to fit in that little pan? I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm getting popped all over. Ow! All right, put the foil over there and put it in the oven. Squash is looking good. Really good. All right, well, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the um, rice. I'm just gonna leave the, um, the juice from the chicken, the fat from the chicken in here to give it more flavor. Just took the chicken out of the oven the rice just finished about maybe three minutes ago and the acorn squash is also done I took that out about let's see uh, 720 I took that out at 705 so 15 minutes ago which made a total of like 45 minutes baking in the oven can't really tell y'all how long this chicken was in here because I don't remember what time I put it in but thank God this is not a tutorial it's just to cook with me <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let this breathe for a second since it just came out of the oven, it's piping hot. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and then I'm going to plate and I will show you guys the final product. All right guys, dinner is done. This is the final product. We got our chicken, we got our rice, and we got our, uh, not butternut, <laughs> acorn squash. And it looks delicious, it smells even better. I know that um, it's gonna be great, so. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.